what is going on so today I'm gonna to try to make this into a short video I'm just gonna show you what I do to prepare an air conditioner before I clean it uh, this is the LG which I just showed recently it's the thin Q these LGs are a little bit harder to clean than say a frigid air or something so I'm not going to show the whole cleaning. I'm just going to show you how I prepare it before I actually wash it. Uh, I've taken the top of the air exchanger off. I got it over here. And I pulled this evaporator coil back a little bit. Just so I can get to the front of the air exchanger here. This one's a little musty smelling, so I want to clean it good. Uh, I've removed the the brace There's the brace Removed that and I've taken the screws out with the fan shroud That way I can lift this back um, If you just leave the fan shroud on all the the dirt is all going to be trapped here at the bottom You can try to flush it out, but it's You're still gonna have a lot of dirt trapped in there the other thing is this this coil is actually pretty clean on this one, but usually these are just coated with 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 dirt here, so you can get a brush on it if you've got the fan shroud, you know, pulled back. You can get a brush on that and try to brush the dirt off. A lot of times it's so thick, it, it, no matter how much you spray it with water, it's just not going to come off. So. Anyway, here here's the step which nobody else does, except me, apparently. Uh, I wrap all the electronics, I wrap them or I remove them. This is the electrical box. This, I just have a bag over it. You know, if you get this wet and, and you dry it out thoroughly, it's probably going to be okay, but you know, it's a lot easier just to wrap it. Plus, you're introducing corrosion on it when you get this stuff wet. So, you know, it took me literally like 30 seconds to put a bag over it. So, uh, the other thing, you, you never want to get this wet. This is the control panel. Now, this one has a quick disconnect on it. Most air conditioners do not have this. In that case, I, I unscrew this. The, the panel, I unscrew it from the grill and wrap that in plastic. Yeah, you, if this has moisture in it, when you go to apply power to it, you're going to burn out your LEDs and you might even break the, the panel. It might not work anymore. Uh, the other thing, this boggles my mind when it, I see so many people just hosing down the, the fan motor. It... I I always either remove the motor. This LG is too difficult, too much labor to remove it, so I've wrapped it in plastic. It's just like cling wrap. Um, you want to wrap where the shaft is going in. You want to wrap around the wires. And there's also a weep hole underneath the motor, usually. Not always, but most of them have a weep hole. I don't feel one on this one, but it might be on the other side here. Yeah, the, the water does get in these motors quite easily. Now, I'm telling you from experience, because I've cleaned a lot of air conditioners. When I first started doing this, I used to spray these with the hose. And invariably, I would always end up with <laughs> several air conditioners with ruined bearings after I cleaned them. And, you know, it's going to run fine for, say, a week or so. It's, it's, it's after about a week or two weeks. Your bearings are going to start making that growling noise, and they might even seize up on you. And you, at that point, the bearings are ruined. You can't dry it out, so then you're looking at changing the bearings inside the fan motor, so... Much easier just to wrap this. It's going to save you a lot of grief. Uh, the front of this, you know, like I said, it's 
way too much labor to actually remove all this stuff. So these are just supermarket bags, which I, I've got three of them, just stuffed in here and wrapped around the, the whole front. So that should keep the majority of the water off the shaft. Well, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, ever since I started wrapping these motors, I've I have not had one with bad bearings afterwards. So I'm going to show you a motor over here. It's a scrap motor. There's many entry points for water on these motors. And they're all made pretty much the same way. Any motor from the last 20, 25 years, this is, they're all made the same. Well, let's look at the... This goes on the condenser side. So... Here you've just got this plastic piece with the slot cut into it. That lifts out. Then you've got a rubber washer here. Now there's actually a groove that this washer sits in and it's it's not touching the, the actual motor case here. Um, now the water, if, if you're soaking this with a hose, water is going to leach into this where the shaft goes in. And there's there's no seal inside of these cases. There's nothing in there. You got a there's a thrust washer in there, and then you've got the bearings sitting right here. And none of these motors have sealed bearings in them. It, it, they all have shielded bearings, which are not sealed against water. They're all like that. This is the other side. This side has nothing here. There's no washer, nothing. Nothing there. <laughs> if you're soaking this with the hose, water can can leach into this. You know, it's a very small gap, but it's going to leach in there. Uh, now you've you've got the seam for the motor case, which I don't think water usually gets in that that way. So they're usually pretty tight. Now this is the bottom of the motor. These rubber boots from the electric wires. 90% of the time, these are all cracked apart. And this one is actually pulled out of the case. So you've got a big hole there, right? Directly into the motor. And the other side, we've got a weep hole here. This is a, it's a hole goes right into the motor. If you tip the air conditioner, you're spraying it with a hose, the water's going to go right in there. And you, you don't want to do that. So, uh, yeah, that's, so that's pretty much all I'm going to say here. Uh, I'm just telling you, you're going to save yourself a lot of grief if you wrap these motors or take it out. That's my opinion. So, uh, that's it. See you next time.